Possible Trump 1 sixth crimes charged by the House panel. Last year, the Senate cleared former President Trump on charges of encouraging a coup in Congress. However, no charges have been brought against Trump or any of his senior advisers for the assault, and it's unclear whether they ever will be. However, members of the House committee looking into the January 6 attack are intensifying their pressure on Attorney General Merrick Garland to probe Trump and his cronies. For the last several days, they've been publicly discussing probable crimes linked to that day's violent assault by Trump supporters on Capitol Hill which was meant to interrupt the official certification of his loss by Congress. In a March court filing, legislators on the panel for the first time laid out the probable offenses they had discussed for months. Law professor John Eastman, who worked with Trump in trying to overturn the election, filed a lawsuit against the committee in response to the committee's request for papers from him. That Trump, Eastman, and other Trump friends engaged into an arrangement to deceive the United States is what the committee claims to have proof for. They believe Trump and his friends tampered with the election certification process, spread false information regarding election fraud, and encouraged state or federal authorities to cooperate in that endeavor. As Vice President Mike Pence presided over the January 6 swearing-in ceremony, the House Oversight Committee contended that Trump either tried or succeeded to impede, influence, or disrupt the process. Pence refused to participate. According to them, common law fraud, or misrepresenting facts while knowing that they are incorrect, is also a crime that should be investigated. To persuade the public and federal courts that the 2020 election was rigged, Trump launched a massive public relations effort to discredit Biden's Electoral College victory. Those assertions were dismissed by election authorities, judges, and Trump's attorney general. Though not explicitly stated in the Eastman filing, House panel leaders indicated earlier this year that they believed Trump was accountable for dereliction of duty or inactivity when his supporters smashed the Capitol's glass and doors.